All right. Welcome to the Shen tutorial. Now, Shen is, oh boy. Well, first of all, if you haven't seen my Athena video, I talked about certain announcements. Uh, so go and watch that one. I'm pretty sure it is the, um, the Athena one. But I will say the most important one again here. KO Up 14 is coming out on Steam, which was announced like Tuesday. So don't know when, just know it will. So Shen, why Shen? Why am I doing Shen next? Well, because <coughs> I've been doing characters that Juicebox has not done, uh, just to kind of create a base of as many characters as possible for people to get into the game. But his Shen's kind of old. It was one of his first videos, you know. Um, I have some different things to talk about in this one, uh, more technical stuff to talk about. Um, and I'll give you a more rigid outline of how to combo with him and generally what makes him powerful and what makes him not powerful. Um, as far as how difficult he is, he's pretty freaking easy. He's one of the easiest characters. Like, if, if you go through the trial mode, do Shens first or Vice. Those two characters are very simple to play, very easy. At least in my opinion. Uh, definitely not Ash. Um, Anyway, uh, he's simple, uh, his, his, he, he doesn't really have to worry too much about low confirms, um, <coughs> you don't have to worry about cross-ups, you, you can cross-up with him, if you're good, and you know the spacing, that was too close, too far. Um, but, the, he lacks certain, um, what you would consider universal tools for most games, like being able to combo off of light kicks, or at least lows, uh, he really doesn't have that very easily accessible to him. Um, he doesn't have a standing overhead besides this, which is minus a gajillion. Um, and his command grab is slow, so like technically that's something that, that he has in terms of like a different form of offense, but it's really slow, it's not invincible, unless you spend meter on it. Um, what I'm trying to say is his offense is very fundamental. Like, if you want to learn KOF, Shen's one of the best characters to do this with. Which is really the reason why why I wanted to to do him right now, is because in back in the video where I talked about the character select screen, <laughs> um, I gave you three characters that you really need to... or I gave a, a team of three characters that would be a really, really good starting team for beginners that want to learn the game, and Shen was on that. And Shen's probably the biggest one. And he's pretty cool looking too. Um, look at that smile. Look at that smile. Um, so that's why he, uh, he's, he... He's a good beginner character because he lacks certain tools that you, that you can kind of like abuse. Such as low confirms or cross ups or uppercuts, you know. Um, now, I was gonna say something else, but I forget what it was. What? Oh, oh yeah, yes, yes. Um, why don't you really see him too often in high level play? Well, the big reason is because there are better characters. Uh, he has high damage, he, he's probably got one of the highest damages in the game if not the highest damage. He, he can kill you for four bars anywhere, anywhere on the screen really, really easily. Um, and, and he can do 900 for three bars. And, and HD, of course. Um, easily. So, what makes him not as used in high level play? Well, it's because of this, these very fundamental thing that I was talking about is, um, <clears throat> he's not very good at creating holes in the opponent's defense. What he's really good at is finding holes that are already that, that already exist in the opponent's uh, defense and then maximizing on on that. Um, which basically means uh, let's see. Which, mm, so let me just try and, and say this um, again. 
he is not built to tear holes in the opponent's defense. He is built to find holes that already exist in the opponent's defense and then exploit them with a bunch of damage. Um, so he's simpler, but you kind of have to know what you're doing and you need to be able to get like a strong read on your opponent to be able to do it. And the problem is, in high level play, people are really good at covering the holes. You know, that sounded really weird. People are really good at not leaving holes in their defense. Let's put it that way. Which is why you really don't see it. Like you, you, you'll see him on like a, on like last. Which, by the way, you you will want him last because he's. It's all about this. It's all about that HD combo: burn four bars, kill one character. You know. Um, but. Anyway, get, let's just get right into this. Um, his normals are pretty good, actually. Um, unfortunately, standing aim will miss on crouching. Um, but this is an excellent anti-air. For hops. Because he's so tall, <laughs> this is like, it's not a diamond stand area um, or anything, but it's really good at, um, at um, anti-airing hops. It's, it's four frame startup and on block it's plus three, but it doesn't really matter because it can crouch underneath it. Um, as far as standing, well, I'm going to go slightly out of order here. Far hard punch is like a bigger version of standing late punch. Um, it's seven frames and minus one on block. <coughs> but what makes it really good? Yeah, let's see here. Yeah. I'll get it. That's close, hard punch. This has armor on it. Um, I believe it's from frames two to seven, but uh, that's, I don't know. Um, it, it feels like it's not, but that's what the frame is. is it a little, hold on, let me take this. Far hard punch, standing, standing, C. Yeah, it says frames two through seven, but it, it, that's not what it feels like to me. Basically, the, the, the moral of that is you can't wake up with it. You can't wake up with far hard punch. One, because it's a far hard punch. You gotta be far away. Um, and because it doesn't have armor on the first frame, so... <laughs> um, this is basically a, a beefier version of standing late punch. Goes slightly further, does more damage, obviously. The hard, the hard, you know, the light. Um, <coughs> it's, it's one of his better standing normals. It'll just kind of like counter poke a lot of things, it's, like especially uh, against kings who do this. You can just kind of use this, and it'll beat all she does. As long as you time it right. Like that, see? Um, so that, that, that that's one of his better moves. In my opinion. Um, although it is 9 frames slow. So. Uh, let me go back to Satan Light Kick. Uh, this is a really good poke. It, it goes super far. Like You wouldn't expect it to reach from like here, but it does. Like here. Ooh, nope. Right there. Ooh. Right there. It, 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 it reaches further than it probably should. It's kind of like standing CD. Uh, but, um... Uh, it's seven frames. It's good poke. And, it, and you, you, you can actually use this as a fourth poke, even if you chain kind of slow. It'll still work. Um... I don't think that you can get five or anything, but... But because you get four pokes, if you watch my mix-up video, you know that I have a whole bunch of options after one poke, after two pokes, and after three pokes. But Shen also has this after four pokes. 
And he can frame trap all of those. He can rehop after all of those. He has trip. He has pokes. Standing hard kick is really good. He has so many di different ways to mix up the opponent. And go watch my mix-up video on that if you want to, uh, to know more. Now, um, as far as close C, I, I talked about far C. Far C. Close C is 5 frames, so it's pretty slow. Um, it's minus 1 on block, and this is mainly used as, as like frame traps because his crouching lights are all plus. So you can just kind of do this, and it'll frame trap. Um, you'll use this in your basic combos. Like that. Oh, it hit. Um, that's really all it's used for. It's frame traps and, and, and uh, heavy confirm hits. Um, far hard kick is really good. It goes super far. Not quite that far. Um, it's an 11 frame pokes if you want to like poke from this range. It's probably your best your best bet. Although it is minus nine on block, so it, you can like King can do this. Let's see. King can punish this. Maybe. Oh, maybe not. But it's it's minus nine is the point. It's pretty bad on block. Uh, like some Rombu supers will beat this out free. Um, basically, don't use it in certain matchups. Uh, close D is basically a six frame version of close hard punch. It's pretty bad. Uh, it's minus 12 on block. Check this out. Minus 12. Minus 9. Minus 12. Um, it will chain. It will cancel. Um, and you will get the same combos off of this. Um, as you would a close hard punch, but it's slower. It's 6 frames instead of 5 frames. Um, punishable on block. Basically, it's not very useful. Um, even as far as anti is concerned, it, it doesn't really go anywhere upward, so. Um, it's not very useful, in my opinion. Uh, as far as standing CD, though, this is really good. What? This will work after three pokes most of the time. All the time. And it is cancelable, like most CDs in the game. Although he has further reaching moves that kind of uh, accomplish the, the same task. Um, you can whiff cancel with certain things, like that. Um, I guess I'll talk more about that later, maybe? It's, it's 14 frame startup and minus 1 on block, but you can space it. Like it hits really quickly. You you can space this to be a little bit better on block. Right here ish. No, right here ish. A little closer. Right there. Um, anyway, forward light kick is his command normal. This is basically a combo tool. Um, it won't combo from lights, unfortunately. Although you can chain it from lights. Um, yeah, it's not. Mm, it's only minus two on block, so it's minus two, and it's like out of most command grab ranges. So, and you can cancel it into that to make it a little bit better. I think. Actually, hold on. Let me, let me test this. Minus two. That looks to be plus actually. You can cancel it immediately. Anyway. I'll get into that later. Um, basically, only use this. It goes pretty darn far, actually, for for a poke, and it is cancelable by itself. 
I mean, the specials, supers, Neo, or I guess Neo Max, but HD. It's basically just another normal, and it doesn't really change at all when you chain into it. And it, and it, and it, it will chain from basically everything, except far hard kick and far hard punch. And, and light kick. St standing light kick and crushing light kick. Oh, yeah. So, it'll chain from crushing light punch, standing light punch, close hard punch, close hard kick, crouch hard punch, and you guessed it, crouch hard kick. I don't know why. This is kind of the same thing as Ryu's sweep being cancelable and Street Fighter Cross Tekken, which was mm, stupid. Especially because you can cancel it. Um, anyway. Uh. Oh, okay. Crouching normals. These are the two that you really want to be using, is his crouching lights, because they're both five frames and plus two on block. Yeah. Uh, so the, the difference be between them is, as with all characters, kicks does more damage than punch. Um, kick hits low. Punch does not hit low. Um, kick is not cancelable. But punch is cancelable. Um, however, punch doesn't go as far. You can get three pokes if you're fast. But if you're kind of slow, that's not going to work. And he doesn't really have anything that will work besides super. From from three, from three hits away, so... Um, Crouching hard punch is actually his fastest normal besides standing light punch. That's four frames. It's tied. It, it's tied with standing light punch at, at four frames. Um, this will actually link from crouching light kick and light punch. This is a one frame link. Um, and light punch. It should, because the hit stun and blocks in is universal in this game, mostly. That should work. Hold on. Let me check the frame day real fast. Crouching A is apparently plus four hit. Yeah, that should work. There we go. It's fat. Oh, it's faster than than crouching light kick is. Um. It also hits way up there, so it's a pretty good anti-air. What are you on? Oh. Um, this is more for anti full jumps. It does move him backwards slightly, I think, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. I'm lying. I'm lying now. It, 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 it makes the camera do weird things, but... Um, basically, use it as a quick normal frame trap tool. It'll chain into forward light kick. Um, it's always, always, always minus. Minus 13. Uh, that should be minus... What is that? Minus 8? Crouch hard punch. Crouching C is minus 11 on hit. Wow. So, minus 13, minus 11. Basically, always chain it. Although, of course... With this game's chain system... Oh, what? That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. Anyway. What? Apparently you can't do this. I thought this was a thing. That's, okay. This is kind of what blows Shine up, is guard cancel rolls. Because he always, always, always wants to go into forward light kick. 
or cancel forward light kick into his into his special moves or, or or something like that. So guard cancel rolls kind of destroy him unless he's like expecting it and baiting it out. Um, anyway, crushing hard kick is eight frames, but it's minus eight. Um, it's a pretty good poke. It doesn't quite have the range of standing hard kick though. We're trying to get this right perfect. With hit. Um, st standing hard kick is. Uh, far hard kick is 11 frames, so it's slower than this 8 frame. Um, but it goes further. So, I don't know. And it's chainable into, into that. And cancelable. Um, and that's it for his Garden Normals. Uh, he has some jumping normals. Jumping light punches. Eh. Eh. It can be air to ground. It can be. Although he has better stuff. Like. Like. It's, it's not even fast. It's six frames. Um. But the angle is 45-ish degrees downward versus hard punch is better. It's even lower. Or if you want it higher, you can actually use standing or jumping CD, which covers a similar angle except better and better. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, light punch is not very useful in the air. I don't think it can cross up either. As far as cross ups, he really doesn't have any that are re reliable. You had to be really good to get his cross ups to work, especially on crouching opponents. Um, but uh, jumping light kick also really bad. This will whiff on everyone in the game crouching. And I think I tested this like a hundred billion years ago on every character, and it didn't work on anyone. Um, yeah, it, it is five frames, so it's going to be his fastest air-to-air -air normal, but, eh. You, you can, like, hop away with it, but I would still hop away with CD. CD is going to be in what you use 90-ish percent of, um, of the time, or C if you want the, if you want the, uh, the overhead jump in. Jumping C is six frames, so it's really good. And this can cross up. This can. It's probably his most reliable. It's really hard. From here, it's super difficult, right? Uh, here. Uh, here. Uh. It's really small. But if you learn the... If you learn to... Oh, I walked forward there. If you learn to eyeball the range, then you can use this. Uh, sp specifically, after three hits. Regular jump. On a croucher. On hit. This is perfect. If you time it perfectly. There you go. Um, yeah. Uh, jumping hard kick. Uh, if, if you need the horizontal range on it, like if you're like right here, and you, you need the range, um, then that's what you want to use it for. That's really all it's used for is better range. Um, it is 8 frame startup, so it's slower. But the best jumping normal that, I, that he has overall is CD. It's 12 frames start up, but it doesn't really matter. Because it gives you a ton of blocks done, etc, etc, etc. It hits a really good angle. Um, I believe this can cross up. I haven't tested this recently, but I believe it can. I believe it can. I'm probably wrong. Yeah, I'm probably wrong, actually. Moving on. Normal throw. This is one of the better ones. Um, remember how I said that in general, low damage characters have soft knockdown throws? And Takuma was the exception? Well, Shen is the big exception. Uh...
What side is Shen on? Yeah, he's on the left. Uh, so this is the mix-up that, that you, you want to use off of this throw. If you just mash on roll against most characters, I believe, it doesn't work on some. On most characters, you will land in the front. But if you do anything at all, that, that, that causes a forward increase in, in movement, um, you will cross them up. And the best one to use is actually run, not, not walk. Walk looks like this. Eh, missed it. It's really obvious if the opponent is looking for it. Whereas the run one is not. No, it's too early. There we go. Nope. There we go, that was it. The, the run one is not obvious. It's really hard to tell when someone runs. And then rolls. So that's a really good mix up that you can use. Uh, you can also just jump and you'll get a pretty nice safe jump. I don't think it's perfectly safe though. So, um, anyway, that's it for all his normals. Thank you, man, normals, which is a normal, I guess. Uh, special moves. Yep, okay. So, so, uh, special moves, he's got like, I don't know, five, six, seven? I guess technically seven, technically five, technically seven, technically five and seven. Um, it's all relative, I guess. So he has quarter light punch. This is called Geki Ken, Geki, Geki, Geki Ken. Um, this is a really good poke. It hits from almost half screen, almost. Oh, never mind. I'm, oh, the hard one hits almost half screen. Anyway, quick forward light punch. It's from about this range. Um, I believe it is always minus three on block, always, but I'm not. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is uh, fixed recovery on block and hit. Okay. So you need to. There's no need to space it, really. Uh, it's gonna be minus three um, either way, but what, what this is really used for outside of combos is actually anti-air preemptively against hops because he gets lots of damage off of anti-airing with this move. A lot of damage. He basically gets, mm, excuse me, he basically gets whatever he, he, he wants. So, uh, yeah. Um, as far as the hard version, this one's a little bit more complex. Um, based on how long you hold the button down, you'll get one of four variants. Um, if you just tap the button, it comes out in 21 frames and is minus six on block and does 60 damage. Okay. However, if you hold down the button slightly, it'll wait until a certain point and then give you the level 2, which is at minimum 32 frame startup, but it's only minus 1 on block and is 80 damage. Okay. Uh, if you charge it for a little bit longer, you'll get 85 damage and that's the, that's the level 3, which is at minimum 35 frame startup and is minus 3 on block. And if you hold it down and keep holding it down for a second, 58 frames, you'll get this super looking thing, which does 200 damage and knocks down, but is minus 8 on block. Um, and these are all 0 on hit, except for the super, obviously, it knocks down. Actually, it crumples. And block hit. Um, oh, that was a nice number right there. Um, at any point during the charge, before that 58th frame, however, you, you can press either kick, and it'll cancel it. Um, 
You can't cancel immediately, though. See? You, you have to wait 13 frames before you, you can cancel it. And what this is really useful for is, watch, watch this. You build meter for doing this. And you can cancel into this, too. So you can kind of, like, force the opponent to come at you. Moise de Rose. Um, and this becomes even better when I talk about this move, which is last. Uh, but anyway. Uh, let's see. That's all that I need to talk about for now, I guess. Um, as far as the EX version of the meter. Uh, this is 16 frame startup, so slower than the light one, but faster than the hard one. It's minus 8 on block. And it juggles really well. It juggles. Um, does 100 damage, but what it's important... It, it is invincible on wake up. Oh, it's one of his best invincible wake ups, but it's kind of slow uh, compared to some others for the same meter cost. Uh, that's it for that move. Next, he has quarterback hard, uh, quarterback light punch. Is Fuko Sugeki? That doesn't sound right. That doesn't make sense. Fukogeki, that's close. Fukogeki, Fukogeki, is this thing. Uh, this does hit overhead. This is only standing overhead. I guess it's only grounded overhead. Um, it's terrible on block, so I have... I'm don't, don't even bother, it's terrible on block. Um, it's uh, 18 frames start up, so that's... In Tekken, that would be considered unreactable. <laughs> um, but it's always unsafe, always, always, always. Uh, same with the EX version, always, always, always unsafe. It's the same speed, too, it's still 18 frames. But the difference is... To come off the meterless one, you have to drive cancel. And by the way, you, you can't... Drive cancel the first hit. You can't. You have to go. You, you have to go into the follow up on both versions. But when you spend the meter, you get a high juggle and you can combo off of it for no drive. So that that's the difference and damage. 60, 170, 140, 146. So a little, little bit more. Um, and in general, the EX is worse on block. Actually, no. Whatever, they're all terrible on block. Uh, next move is this thing. Quarter kick. Uh, light one starts up... Where am I? Light one starts up in 14 frames. Hard one goes a little bit further, but it's 17 frames. Uh, EX is this thing. It's 15 frames. Um, and it hits twice? Yeah, yeah. It, it hits twice. Uh, and these juggle. Okay. Light juggles the least, but it's the quickest. Um, hard juggles. Hard actually juggles the best out of all three of them, but it's slowest. Um, and EX1 launches the highest, but you can't juggle with it. It just doesn't work. Um, um, as far as block advantage, unfortunately, these aren't too spectacular. If you, yeah, light's minus seven. That doesn't look like minus seven. I think I already done that. Hold on. It says minus seven here. Um, it does not look like minus seven though. Hard version's only minus two, and EX is minus seven. Yeah, that doesn't look right. Hmm. Anyway, uh, you can space these, however, to make them better. On block. So like, uh, I'm not good at this. There you go. 
Uh, you can space these to make them better. The harder one you can space to make even on block, if not plus. Oh, come on. There you go. That sounded like plus. That sounded like, mm, like plus or minus one. I think it's minus one. Uh, but but you, you, you can space them. Uh, as far as command grab, uh, this is what you're going to be comboing into off of lows. If you do combo into anything, it's the, it's the only thing fast enough. Quarter A is too slow. Uh, quarter back A will work if they're not going to block overhead. Um, BX is too slow. It's the same speed. Uh, yes, yeah, super. Uh, you can come in a super, uh, but other than that, not much. Uh, going back to the command grab, this is five, uh, five frame command grab. Um, you can't combo off of it unless you drive cancel. Um, however, look at the damage on this. Most of his meterless move to like 60, that is 70, that technically does 100. The grab does 120, so that's pretty good. In fact, if you just want some, like, me m no meter damage, go into the command grab. That's gonna be your highest damage. It's not it's not a hard knockdown, but you can kind of follow it up. Like this. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably thinking of, I'm probably thinking of like, Elizabeth or something. Um, anyway. The EX command grab, oh. By the way, this has really long range. Like, really long range. Two pokes away. Not quite. But like, a hair in. Oh god. Right there. It has really long range. EX1 has about the same range. If not the same range. I think it has the same range. Uh, but what it does is you, you can't drive cancel it. You can't. Um, but what you can do is combo after it because it, it gives a crumple. See? It, it gives a crumple just like this move, actually. Whoops. This move crumples. This move also crumples. Um, and I'll... Uh, I'll... Mm, you can do this off of it. But, eh. I don't ever use the EX one, ever. Honestly. Uh, it doesn't do any extra damage or anything from the from the regular one, so it's like, eh. I'd rather spend, I would rather spend the drive or HD combo. Check this damage. Hey, or not. Anyway, I'll get into that later. Um, oh, yes, one more thing. How do you do this while running? Um, do the input fast. That's all it is. Do it really, really fast and hit neutral. So, okay, so do quarter and then go from back to forward, but you have to hit the, like that. Make sure that you actually go to neutral somewhere in there. And then, and then hit the button, and then from there it's just figuring out how long you can run. Um, I didn't put this in my notes actually, but this is actually an invincible on the EX version. So let me. Uh, regular? Nope. EX, yes. And the EX is three frames, so it's faster. It's his, one of his only three frame moves. That's also three frames. Uh, but anyway. Uh, let's see. One more move, and it is this thing. It doesn't hit. It doesn't hit. Um, what it does... 
is it actually absorbs projectiles. And look, look at my meter here. When you when you absorb a projectile, let me just do this. You actually build some meter. In addition, when you absorb a projectile, you can cancel into anything you want that isn't like a normal. You can super. If I can't, oh, I don't have a meter, but. You can, let's see. You can command grab. You can quarter D. You can quarter back light. Let me get super right here. I can. There we go. Um, and that is a free cancel. Okay? So no dry meter spin or anything like that. Um, however, the one thing that you really want to use this for... Oh, by the way, you can do it into itself as well. Although that has limited use, it does have use. Uh, but the one thing that you want to do it most often, I'd say like 80% of the time is go into... Uh, because you're not going to be parrying projectiles from this point on reaction. So you're not going to get any like punishes or combos off of this. But cancel into the quarter hard punch, which builds meter and then cancel it, okay? So, like that. Um, let me think. Oh, one thing to note about this is watch my meter very carefully. Nah, I missed it. Let me reset. Oh no! Okay. Look at my meter. Okay. This is what happens when you cancel too fast. If you do it too fast, you won't build the meter for the, for parrying the projectile, okay? You need to wait a split second to get that extra chunk of meter. And you get most of the meter for parrying, by the way. Um, so, keep that in mind. There is no EX version, because he has this thing. That's EX back punches. Uh, let's see. This will parry EXs. See? Very useful. Um, this will also parry... This will also parry Supers and Neomaxes. Uh, actually, hold on. It just kicks, right? Oh no, it's back and kicks, I think. Yeah, it is. I'm doing it. Oh god, meter. I'm doing it. Yeah, <laughs> you can do it. Nice. You can parry any projectile in the game, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, that includes Maxima's Neomax. And it's got a mash desk for like 10 years. Because Maxima's Neomax lasts like 10 years. Uh, anyway. Uh, let's see. So, anyway. Uh... So the max meter bill for a, a, a double strike would be like this. Would be parry, parry, cancel. Um, that's it for specials. I'm trying to look over this, see if I missed anything. Um, it is six, technically six frame startup.
as well. So, if they time this meaty projectile. Hold on, let me, let me, let me get point blank range. You can't actually wake up with this and parry projectiles. However, he has many, 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 many other ways to get around uh, to get around projectiles, roll, and I'll get into others later. But um, supers, bionic arm. Okay, so this is an 11 frame super. Um, it is completely invincible. Terrible on block. Use it on wake up. Use it as anti air. Use it as a whiff punish. Use it as a projectile punish. It goes almost, almost half, uh, right here, let's say. Yeah. Um, yeah. It goes right about here. I might miss. Yeah. But this should hit. Yep, okay. Um, or in combos, basically. The EX1, whoops. The EX1 starts up in eight frames and is, it does more damage, I guess, but other than that, it's exactly the same. It goes uh, like a pixel further. Like a little bit, mm, like here. Check the range on that versus this. It goes slightly further. So it'll work from like here. Oh, almost. Right there. Yeah, right there, sure. Yep. These have fixed re re recoveries on the hit and block, so they're always punishable and you'll never combo after them. Except on counter hit, in which case you get a wall bounce combo, which is pretty cool. Um, what this is primarily used for is on counter hits, on jump ins. And you can experiment with, with, with combos from that. Um, I really don't know any besides just this basic drive cancel. But, um, let's see. Same with the EX version. Wall bounce. I don't know why. Um, if you don't know what to do, just super again. Two bars from 500 is pretty freaking good. So. Let's see. This thing. Um, C A B C. The input for this is weird. It's hard punch, light punch, light kick, hard punch. And all you do is hit him in order. And this, he explodes. Um, this actually is only a level 2 super. You can't do level 1. If I have one bar, I'll never get it. If I have two bars, it spends the two bars. Um, there's a couple of things about this move that you need to know about. First of all, it does hit. And there's no jumping over it. It's that whole... The whole thing is boom, a hitbox. So, um, it technically starts up in three frames, although obviously it takes some frames to input it. Oh, uh, there Yeah. And notice how I'm like all like stripey now. Uh, this is a buff that lasts 15 seconds, and all it does is augment your damage. So, like, normally a standing heart does 80 damage. Uh, math that you do 104 damage. Yeah, there's a 30% damage increase while you're in this for most things. Um, it, it it acts as like a as, as um it acts as a scaling bonus though. So you'll only get 10% damage on throw because throw is technically scaled. Um, I 
don't know if that was intentional or not, but it's there. Um, let's see. Oh, there, there's more to this move. Uh, let's see. It also gives you a slight, not quite 30%, but you get a damage reduction bonus to anything that hits you. Uh, and it lasts 15 seconds on, on this, on like... No, wait. It lasts 15 seconds real time, I believe. Hold on. Let me test this. From the activation of the super, should be going off right now. Yeah, okay. So that would last about 15 seconds. Maybe a little bit less if you don't include the uh, super flash, which is like a second long. Um, so basically, during that time you have, well, first of all, it, it hits. It hits with, with that big boomy. Um, if you hit high enough with this, it will actually grant you a juggle, but eh, not very useful. Uh, but then during that 15 second time period, um, let me fix this, my notes are wrong. Uh, it increases damage output by 30% and it reduces damage taken by like eh, 28, I think. 28, I think is what it was. Uh, it's not quite 30. And can be used to wake up. It's invincible. It can anti-air if you're looking for it. You saw it at the very beginning of the video. That's how I um, opened up this video. Or you can Neomax cancel. For some really big damage. Because the Neomax cancel also, be uh, also benefits from the 30% damage increase. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. While this is active, you can't do it again. Um, let's see here. Lastly, there's a massive buffer window. Check this out. Watch my inputs. Or listen to my buttons. After you hit these buttons, you can like, you can like, basically wait. It's I think it's like 20-ish frames, and then hit hard punch, and it'll still come out. Uh, it's massive. It is the entire length of a roll, basically. It's really freaking long, um, and you and you can button hold it as well. So say you want to do something like this. Let's get in the corner. Boom. Three frames. Um, let's see. Neomax. Uh... I'm gonna go ahead and say this is combo only. It does reach 99% of the screen. Sorry, 95% of the screen. Right there, it'll hit. It does a big volcanic eruption of damage. Uh, let's see. It is 15 frame startup. So you might be thinking, oh, is it's the anti air? No, it's not. It's too, it's way too slow for an anti air. Um, it can be used to go through projectiles, but. But that's what Bionic Arm's used for. Or EX Arm. Um, let's see. That's really it, uh, except for combos, and I have a little section after that, actually, that I want to talk about. So, combos. 
Mid screen. I actually did a complete list of combos this time. Instead of, ha uh, you know, dipping you out like on, like on some of the uh, some, some of the characters. Because he really needs his combos. Combos are really important. Because you typically play him last, you're going to have varying amounts of meter. And it's kind of important to, to be able to know what, what to do. Now, um, as far as off of a low, unfortunately, all you really need is this combo. It is low B, low A, command grab. That's really all you need besides the one frame link business. From crouch to like kick to crouch hard punch. And if you're having trouble getting this, if you're having trouble getting crouch hard punch to forward light kick, then just hold down forward. Like that. Like, I know when I first started with this character, I used to do this. And I used to get like quarter light kick and I would miss and I get punished. Um, what, what you can do is you can just hold down forward. Like the diagonal. Okay. And then you won't get the quarter. Um, obviously this is really, really, really low damage. It's only like 161. And it's hard. Kind of. Oh my, I'm just bad. Hold on. Mr. the back? Yeah, Mr. the back. Yeesh. Anyway, uh, moving on. So you have two hard options. There's a low damage command grab, or you can go for the one frame link. Um. Now, that's it for lows. Uh, let's see, off of uh, off of that link or off of any uh, heavy hit, for no meter, the best you got is command grab. Uh, let's see, if you want a hard knockdown, you, know, you really don't have one. Uh, sometimes I, I do this. <laughs> because standing... Standing um, combo enders are really good in this game. Because you can almost immediately throw them. Almost. 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 Let's see if I can get this. There you go. So, it's pretty good. If you want max damage, just do this. Man grab. Really easy. Uh, let's see. For one meter, that's the, what you want to use uh, use for max damage. If you don't want max damage, you want offense, which is the one I use. Just dashing after it instead. You lose. Uh, let's see. What is that? You lose 55 damage, 56 damage. Not a big deal. Especially to, uh, considering this is not like a drive meter combo, you you really get your, your damage off, um, off, um, off of drives. Um, anyway, for one drive, you get this. Uh, whoops. Same same situation as before. Don't hard kick if you want the offense. Uh, but in this case, you actually lose a pretty good chunk of damage. You lose 283 versus, I think it was 343. So you, you're actually losing 60 damage. So that's pretty significant. Uh, let's see. For one bar, one drive, you got this. Super instead. This super causes a, a hard knockdown, so that's really good. And you get a really good chunk of damage. Mm, excuse me. Um... This is a really basic bread and butter combo, honestly. Like, this is probably one of the most common combos that you'll see outside of HD combos with Shen. It's really good. Um, if you just have two bars, you can do this. And then super for 500 for no drive, which is pretty good. Uh, if you just have two bars and one drive, you can really make them hurt. Wait, what? Do 
Let me see. I think I wrote this down wrong. I have it as that, which makes absolutely no sense. I'm gonna get rid of this and see what happens. Okay, let's try this. Oh, I flipped them around is what it was. Two, one, no, two, three, six, D. Okay, so this is what the combo looks like. This is actually kind of hard. Okay, you get 567, and the thing that you need to realize, um, that you need to realize, to realize, um, about this, Oh, I wrote this down wrong. It's not CD. It's BD. Boop. BD. Okay. Uh, the thing that, that, you, that you need to know is that you can do this move too, too, uh, too early. Like this. Not like that. Like this. So that the follow-up actually misses. So you need to either delay this or delay this. One of the two. Or you can actually delay the second hit of this. But it's kind of hard. Let's see, let's, let's see if I can get this to work. Yeah, whatever. Go ahead, cancel, and then, and then super after that. Uh, let's see. If you want to spend three bars instead, you can actually combo. Instead of going into this, you can do a command guy first. And that will work mid screen and then super after that for more damage. Excuse me. And that's it for mid screen. I didn't write down his corner combos, but I'll go over them very briefly. Uh. No meter is the same. One bar. You have a couple options. You actually can't come off of that, so let's see. You can get, I don't know, like 400 for a, for a bar. Or almost 500 for two bars, which is really good. Or you can do this. Oops. You can get 400. You okay? So yeah, that, 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 that's better damage right there. Whoops! Don't try to cancel that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeesh. Level one shouldn't work there actually. Um, yeah, you, you can uh, experiment with with corner combos. I won't bore you with my testing because I forgot to take notes on this. But uh, let's, I'm trying to think of other things you can do in, in the corner that you can't do mid screen. Anyway, uh, HD combos. You really only need one, and it's just corner carry. Uh, but I'll show you the corner combo first. This works from. It works for about uh, half screen ish here. And then at, uh, what you do after that will depend on how much meter you have, but, uh, or rather, how much meter that you want to spend. Um, but that will actually change if you're full screen or like further than half screen. You'll want to do one extra drive cancel. Let's get on this side, my good side. And then go into your follow-ups from there. Uh, slightly less damage, not much less damage, maybe uh, a couple dozen. 
Um, but it is, it is less, and it is a bit harder. Not, not, not much, but it, it, you know, it is. Um, now, as for Enders, for one bar. Yeah, god dang it. Rather for 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 no bar actually. Yeah. Let me show this. Like that that's your basic no meter combo. I forgot what I'm doing. Oh my god, I'm like brain farting. If you have one bar, you want to do that. Oh, let's see. Let me scroll down here. I'm not scrolled through that. I knew it's correctly. Okay. Um, and four, let's see. For two bars, you want a new max. Well, okay. Well, for two bars, you really have two options. You, you, you can end in this super, which does quite a bit less damage, about 100 less damage, uh, 50 less damage. Uh, but but you, you get the buff, so if if, uh, if you're not gonna kill him, you might want to end in this. Um, otherwise, you get a Neo Max, which I'll show you both of those real fast. That's all right. Seven forty. 774 versus, whoa. Ah! Ah, uh, too slow. There you go. Oh, yeah, for 830, 838. Um, and there's a little trick to doing this. To, 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 to doing this is you can put the two motions together for the quarter forward and the half back on the punch and the neo max. So now let's see. For three bars, you can get 900. Which basically all it is is in, instead of this, sorry, instead of this at the end you super. Ah, <laughs> missed the last drive cancel. For nine hundred. Um, and let's see, and for four, well, let's just see what happens. That's not right. Too early. Too late. That was a missed input. Okay, that's a mistake that, that, that you're going to come across a lot, is getting super it in the middle of your combos. Um, there's really no surefire way of getting rid of that input error, except do your quarter kicks really quickly and do your quarter punches really, really slowly. That's all I can say. <laughs> anyway, back to the combo at hand. Oh, come on.
Kamehameha! And then it does over a thousand damage, which means it kills. Which is pretty cool, although the one I use is different. Whoops. Well, there's always this one. <laughs> Let's see. Too fast, okay. Yeesh. There's always this one. Okay. Huh. Makes them just bad today. This is not hard. I don't know why. Hey, 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 hey. It's weird. That was a missing input. Whatever. Uh, that will kill. Just trust me. It will. Um, anyway, back to the corner carry combos. All the others are exactly the same. Mostly. I will go over all of them right now. No meter. No meter like that. For, let's see, for one bar, let me see. Okay. Ow, I missed the button. That's painful. In more ways than one. And just super. Uh, let's see, for two bars. Okay, cancel. Okay, yeah, same thing with the two bars. You, you can either do this move, or you can do a max for, for more damage, but you'll get the buff. Uh, although in this case, you are missing out on 70 points of, no, sorry. 50 points of damage again. So, beware of that. So 729 versus... That's not right. Same input trick as before, you get 780, so you get some more damage. Uh, for three bars... Whoops. I'm just gonna drop every combo. Oh, that's not what I'm gonna to say. I thought I thought my 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 uh my, my notes are wrong. They are wrong. Huh, okay. I'll fix that. Yeah, they say the super there, or to go with a quarter A there. Let's not do that. Quarter A for eight fifth. Okay, that's less damage than my notes say. So apparently that is possible. Hold on. There we go. Should be 868. Yeah, okay. So that's your 3 bar combo, 4 bar combo. That was right, but I wasn't ready. Oh, I missed that quarter A. Ugh. I apologize.
That's not what I'm like. I'm not doing well right now. Uh, two more tries. I'll miss one. One more try. I don't know why that didn't come out. I thought I did the right. One more try. One more try. One more try. Let's let's not drop a combo. For once. Oh yeah, nine seventy one. There you go. Uh, if you do jump in, actually, this will kill. That's not right. Anyway, it's, you've seen enough of this. So it's all those combos. Um, now, usually this is where I let off on my videos, is off of combos, and then I say go watch my other mix-up videos, and you need to go watch the, the, those videos to place Chen, they're very important. But there's a little bit of a difference with him, um, because he doesn't have a reliable low confirm, no good cross-ups, so you're like, how do I get damage? Like, like what's... The thing that you need to understand about Shen is that this game has a guard gauge, and you don't need to actually hit the opponent to apply a certain amount of pressure to them. Like, you can just do this, and if they don't have an answer to it, then you win because of the guard gauge. Or say you get the occasional low and that damage, you know, 85 hits of, or 85 points of damage, you know, that's going to rack up over time. Or 100 damage, you know. Um, you know, get, get the 120. Um, but, like... Let's see. His mix-up game is very straightforward and less diverse than some characters, but but it's all solid, you know. Uh, he he has all the tools that he needs to be able, to be able to play the the mix-up game to the same. Uh, general caliber as other characters. Um, it's just slightly different in mindset, not relying on uh, on lows and cross ups and stuff. Um, however, he makes up for this one in damage, I, um, I, uh, as you saw, because he can actually start his HD combos from lengths, which is what makes him really good. This is how I start most of my combos with Jen, is off of this. An HD. You know? Um, but he's got really good pokes. Really good pokes. A standing hard kick, crushing hard kick, standing CD, but as well as his special moves. And these actually double as anti airs. Right? And off of these anti airs. If you're spaced correctly. And it's not King's freaking hard kick. Or CD, I guess. Then you can actually combo off of them. Um, but these are all preemptive. And, and this is kind of what defines Shen as a character in the neutral. Is you need to be able to preemptively anti-air with quarter A's and quarter D's. If they're gonna full jump, they'll need quarter D. And you get the same combos, full juggle. Now, when you're on the offense, then this is where things get quite a bit different than most like, like, Terry does this stuff. You know, like, crack shot out of the air and burn knuckle. Um, Shen's very similar in the in the the, the neutral to Terry, um, but um, I guess slightly less safe. I don't know. Um, but in terms of offense, you, you need to realize that these two moves are plus two on block, both of them. 
and you don't need combos to get damage. Uh, all you need is frame traps. Frame traps and command grabs, really. Frame traps, the occasional low hit, and a command grab is all you need to effectively play KOF. So use these and frame trap into sweep, and then do your shenanigans off of this. And as far as the shenanigans go, if you just do this and, and, and they don't guard cancel, you have like an infinite nut, uh, number of um, options. First of all, that's just minus two. That's, that's totally fine. That's probably better, if, if, if not the same. Um, and, and, and it builds your meter, you know. Sometimes wait and let go, or I guess don't let go. Uh, wait and charge and, and break. Sometimes let it rip. Sometimes charge and, and let it rip, but most often you're, you're, um, if you do uh, let it uh, go, you'll want the level 2 version so that you're only minus 1. Um, control space with pokes. Use hard punch a lot. This is a really good move. Jump in with CD a lot. Use loads when you want HD. Um, and just effectively use the tools the character has and don't focus on the tools that he doesn't have. That's kind of stupid. Oh, I don't have a good low confirm. I'm so bad. This character's cooked. No. Focus on the tools the character does have and then use them because they're pretty freaking good. And that is Shen. Uh, again, go watch my video 7 on mix-ups and video 8 on the neutral game. I, I, that might be flipped. No, I'm pretty sure that's right. Uh, but, yeah. Those, those all apply to every character in the game. Every character in, uh, in any chaos game can use, the, can use uh, the, those two videos, especially um, as an overview, Shen is heavy hitting and simple. He's simple to play, but he's also kind of simple to counter. I don't know. He's like Annie from League of Legends. I don't know. So, yeah. Warning, high CPU usage. Screw you. I've dropped 1,500 frames, but I don't care. There you go. I hope you've enjoyed this tu uh, this, this tu tutorial, but more importantly, I hope that you learned something from it. Because if you didn't, there's something wrong with you, because this is a freaking hour half long. So, <laughs> that being said, I'll see you in the next video, which will probably be...